Yeah, yeah, babe, hold on a second. Rook, I told you not to wear this ridiculous hat. Oh, come on, you guys. <laughs> Betty, <laughs> ma'am, give me my hat back. Babe, I gotta go. <laughs> Khalil, look at this busted thing. <laughs> guys, I will Fellas. turn this spaceship around. Come on. I'm trying to do a TV show. <laughs> give me that hat. It's crazy like this season. Week three, all the teams that won, well, you deserve the well-earned pat on the back. But for the teams that lost, well, this is for you. Here's your medicine. Oakland Raiders. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owen. Owen who? Owen three. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that is not how the Gruden era was supposed to start. Arizona Cardinals, even though you lost, you've got your quarterback situation figured out because it cannot be Sam Bradford any longer. Nice, Rook. Hey, uh, even though you lost Tampa Bay Buccaneers, if you had Fitz Magic, you could put up 60 points on the Steelers defense. That's all you needed. Could have done it. Screwed me in fantasy. <laughs> Jacksonville Jaguars, even though you lost, once again, a Tom Coughlin-led team plays down to their competition. Green Bay Packers, even though you lost, I mean, I picked you to win, but my boys crushed you. You like that? New York Jets, even though you lost, it was your third game in 11 days, so you get some credit for that. Good work. Sorry about the schedule loss. Uh, hey, even though you lost, Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys Nation, don't panic. You got a good head football coach and a good quarterback. Dallas. Arizona Cardinals, even though you lost, at least the future is here, and Sam Bradford once again gets paid a lot of money to get hurt. Atlanta Falcons, even though you lost, I mean, Ryan, you put up a perfect game. Just need a little defense. You're good. There you go. New England Patriots, even though you lost, you still get to be considered part of the top, what, 25 teams in the league? So hey, that's pretty good. That's good job. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. Hey, ah. Denver Broncos, even though you lost, you've got John Elway, the quarterback guru, in charge of things. Cincinnati Bengals, and even though you lost, at least all of your linebacking core isn't in jail. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's a long season. New Jersey Jets, even though you lost, well, it was exciting. It was really fun there for a minute, wasn't it? Didn't, oh, yeah. Did, uh... Didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> Houston Texans, even though you lost, you still hold the title for least creative name in the entire sports universe. Congrats. Yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Even though you lost Minnesota, everyone saw it coming. Yeah, that was... <laughs> if you didn't put your money on the bills, you're a fool. <laughs> Absolutely. Indianapolis Colts, even though you lost, still Andrew Luck has both of his arms. Yep, <laughs> still. But does he? Does he? Houston Texans, even though you lost, knock knock. Who's there? I already told that joke. <laughs> oh. uh, Raj, can we get two pies? One with pepperoni and green chili? Anything yes. else on these pizzas, fellas? No, we're good. Pineapple. Pi no pineapple. Uh, oh, we definitely ain't getting you a hat no, back. That's, we'll that's right. for the Roka side of pineapple. <laughs> this guy. Get into the game with Garden Swartz Team Sales. They have everything you need from screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing services, high school letterman jackets, and all high school and club uniforms and individual and team apparel with the most reliable brands like Speedline, Rollins, and Wilson. And don't forget to check out the latest F7 Shut Helmet. It's all at Garden Swartz Team Sales. Give them a call, 505-884-1234. Garden Swartz Team Sales. Hey, this is Terrell Davis, and you are watching the Frog Prognosticators. Oh, that was delicious, fellas. I'm telling you, man, that was really good. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know about that pineapple look, though. Did we bring any Tums on this pylon? No, but we did bring some yeah. dessert. Mm. Some What's for dessert? dessert. One A bit of humble pie, you say? Mm-hmm. That's yes. right. Mm. Yes. Equal parts defeat and arrogance. It's lovely. You know what? I'm going to grab the first slice of humble pie, fellas. Go for it. Please. I have given this particular team a hard time for years. 
except for maybe their one flash of opportunity for postseason, the arrival of a man named Pirate Jay Cutler. Hmm. I'm amazed that the Miami Dolphins mm. are doing what they're doing. I've never given him a chance, except when they had Pirate Jay, and I thought maybe this was their ticket. Yeah. They're doing it without him. I'm very impressed. Gazy and fellas, good job, humble pie. Just yeah, don't definitely. hit your wagon to the pirate. Mm -mm. I got to serve up a slice of humble pie regarding my home team, San Francisco 49ers. Mm. Coming off last season, everyone thought we were world beaters, or at least everyone in the Bay Area and the 49 square mile radius of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And it turns out we were just two non-contact injuries away from being relegated to obscurity once again. So going to be a long season. And I'm going to fill up on Hubble Pie. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well done. All right. Well done. And we never like to see anybody get hurt. That's no fun. That's it no is. fun. Nope. Garoppolo, mwah, see you better. better. McKinnon, too. Yep. And him. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Love. So hard. So hard. Yeah, so uh, Humble Pie, I got to eat on um, these Chiefs. I thought that Mahomes wasn't going to be able to do it. I couldn't be more wrong. I thought maybe you guys were going to win four or five games. I think I had you at five games this season because of injuries and last year and the way you flamed out. But I'm completely wrong. You guys are kicking booty, and it's fun to watch. Mahomes, you're amazing. Amazing. Humble. It is. Humbled. It's the best show in the NFL Good right job, now, and we're Good all job. eating that pie Putting on the show. Man Manning numbers. Madden yeah. numbers. Madden. But my it's humble pie. Maddening. What you got there, big man? My humble pie is the Eli, guys. Yeah, my there guy. he is. Yeah, yeah. My guy. You know, I once had a dream before that Super Bowl in 2007. I had a dream that I was laying in bed with Eli Manning. Oh. Just next to him. Sure. And he was laying. I was and like, damn, son, my bed's not big enough for your feet. And he was there. Yeah. And I said, you know what, kid? I think you're going to get it done. And he went out there, and he got it done. And I sold him out for being sorry. Happy to have <sighs> Saquon, but kind of mad that we didn't get Darnold. And we had the chance. Mm. But after what mm. he did the other day, what he missed five passes, it was fantastic. Eli, this humble pie is for you. Yeah, we'll be right. Those New York fans, they're just so rough. They're tough stubborn. Crew. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough town. It is. It's a big apple, right? They say if you can make it there. We'll be right back. Sadie's is a proud supporter of New Mexico high school sports and athletics, and we here at ProView Networks would like to thank Sadie's for their continued support in helping us bring you all of your New Mexico high school sports coverage. Incoming communication from Bartholomew Jenkins. We're here to talk to our main man on planet Earth, our correspondent, Mr. Bartholomew Jenkins. Bartholomew, where are you now? Hey, guys! Good to see you, prognosticators. Wow, what an amazing week of football. Um, right, so check this out. Look at how I got here. I, when I last saw you, I was in Cleveland and I was trying not to be a kicker, right? And they went into the meeting room and right, and I was gonna go practice. And then out came Greg, um, what's his name? Joseph, right. So this guy is amazing, he gets the job, but he's really nervous, like super nervous. And so I said, I got some secrets for you, top secret secrets about how to kick a good field goal an extra point and so on goals so right then he tweets that out everyone's talking about how i'm the what do they call what do you what were they what you guys know it is yeah the kicker whisperer i think that's the term right the kicker whisperer and now it's official i'm here in new york i'm at the headquarters i just saw uh, mr roger goodell he's awesome and uh and now i carry the secrets for kicking because nobody missed this week eh very good so what's your secret what are you telling these guys are you looking at tape how are you making such a huge impact in such a short time mm -hmm. Right. And if I could tell you that, then you would be the ones here in headquarters instead of out there in space. I mean, what are you guys smoking up there? AstroTurf? <laughs> oh, Bart. Hey, listen, this is the Maverick Man, and I'm wondering, have you talked to Justin Tucker? He seems to have some interesting theories on kicking. Well, yes, I have. And I'm not saying that I talked to him before this occurred, because it was after, because now that I'm, you know, in the league and stuff. Um, uh, but he's a great singer! I heard him sing. He, he was out there uh, in Fells Point, I think they called it, by, by the, um, the aquarium. And uh, he just started singing, and then the dolphins came up and they started throwing around and then they shot them. I don't know why they did that. Bartholomew, let me ask you a question. Are, how much are you charging these kickers for your instruction and guru-like guidance? 
Right, so we are in intense meetings and negotiations right now. I called my mum, she's my lawyer, and she said I wasn't eating enough. But she flew out and she's here and she's representing me. Thanks, mum. Love you. Negotiations, does that have the same uh, meaning in the, on the island? Because it, it can mean several different things here on the, the pylon, but in the United States of America. Right, yeah. so uh, we call them, uh, you know, counselors, and we call them, you know, other things, and you call them other things. But at the end of the day, it's about the bottom line. <laughs> and okay. once we sign that, you know, that's it. These secrets are going to be like worth, I can't even tell you, a gazillion dollars or so. Well, I don't know if the euros are a little bit better than the Americans, so there's that. Yeah, that's true. There is that. Well, Bartholomew, congratulations on your new gig, man. And uh, we'll talk to you next week, wherever you'll be, man. Keep oh. up the good work. Great. Thanks, you guys. So great to see you again, prognosticators. Cheerio, Bye, Barth. Space. Bye, Barth. We'll be right back. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walk to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Hey, this is Terrell Davis, and you are watching the Pro Pro Prognosticators. Bring it in there, Benny. Welcome back to Honest Press Conference. First up is Khalil. Khalil's going to be Mr. Josh Rosen. Josh, Josh. Yeah. Uh, Josh, what did, the, what did your experience in the last four minutes of that game teach you about playing in the NFL? You know, it just taught me that, you know, sometimes things aren't fair, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be a great quarterback. You know, I know. Um, they put me in at the end, and, you know, so what? I'm ready to go. I'll be a great quarterback. Yes, okay. Um, Great. Great. okay. Hey, Josh, this is Jim Hart with the St. Louis Cardinals Times. And I was wondering, what are your feelings about playing in the NFL? I'm going to be great, man. It's not like my feelings are hurt or anything. It's not like I pretty much could do and was given everything I wanted ever. And I just wanted the first chance to start. And that's cool, man. My mom sent me this care package. And uh, she said it's going to be all right. You know, it's got like... Uh, couple oh it's got keys to numerous ladies bands in here and a whole bunch of things so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be all right next question uh mr josh rosen yeah. uh the sacajawea of the uh, sedona press um how you doing today i'm i'm good bro what's up uh question is uh, many are saying you looked incredibly smug out there in those last few minutes while you were completing no passes So, I mean, dude, they put me in with four minutes left. They need to give me the second half. It's messed up. And I'm going to win up Super Bowl, too. And then I'm going to leave and do it somewhere else. Next question. No more questions. Thanks, Josh. All right. Very good. Excellent. Going somewhere <laughs> else. Going to take that rookie contract right out of town. <laughs> that a guy. Heard it here first on the Prognosticator. case. <laughs> Back at it with Honest Press Conference. We got the Maverick man up on the mic. Mav, who are you going to be? I am A.B. Antonio Brown. I'm ready for your questions, fellas. What do you got? Okay. Antonio, um, Jerome Lane, Pittsburgh Gazette. Yeah, Jerome. Seems that your numbers and the struggles have gone down since Todd Haley left as offensive coordinator, only to go to the Browns. How do you feel about that situation? Jerome, I'm pissed off. I am pissed off. First of all, Todd Haley was what put us on the map. You know, without me, there's no Ben Roethlisberger. Without Ben Roethlisberger, there's no me. Without Todd Haley, there's no none of us. We broke records with Todd Haley. I don't know why he's gone. Defense can't stop anybody. I'm pissed off. You guys make up the next question. I don't have any questions. What do you want? 
and Antonio, Antonio. Hey, hey um, hold on, sorry, I got things going on with my phone here. Larry Shadbra from the Apparently, Pittsburgh. Uh, I should have been traded for Richard Sherman or someone from Seattle for defense. You know what? If they can't figure this out, you know this sucks. I'm pissed off. Next question. Uh, yes, this is uh, uh, Le'Veon Bill from the Fish Wrap of Poughkeepsie. You know what? Uh, hold on, second. I'm getting the text here. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, my you question is about what is this? Ben, ben Roethlisberger. The question this sucks. Go ahead. What's your question? You guys make it up anyway. Um, I, I got a question for you, Steve Carell from. Um, you know, this team is terrible. No more questions. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> AB. All right. Not the best media-minded <laughs> player. Social media minded. Straight question. Are you? Are you hey, on his press conference is back doing what we do. Rookie, who are you going to be? Uh, Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Allen, got a question for you. This is Buster Brown of the Buffalo Wild Wing. Hey, Double B, how are you? Doing great. Um, right. How do you explain your performance in Minnesota? I'll tell you what, we love going to Minnesota. It's not the first time we played uh, UM. Uh, the Golden Gophers are a great team. Uh, excuse me, um, huh? UM is a college team, so we're talking about uh, Minnesota with, with the, and, and the NFL. Vikings. Yes. Uh, uh, checking the sources. They're really that. good. Check the sources. Uh, I I don't know. Next question. Hey, uh, Josh. This is Thurman Thomas with the Buffalo Journal. I'm wondering, are you ready for Lambo? Lambo, Lambo, Rambo, Cambo. Uh, Lambo, the stadium, the Green Bay Packers, Josh. Lambo. Lam Rambo. Lam Hmm. Uh, huh. Next question. Um, Josh, Cornelius Bennett, Buffalo Times. Uh, what do you have to do to outplay Aaron Rodgers? D did you say Corn? R Rodgers? Cor Corn Cornelius. Uh, I'm playing against Aaron Rodgers? Yes, you're playing against him on Sunday. He's In uh, Lambeau Field. He's a, he's a bad man. He's the bad man's going to get me. Someone dial 911. Is, ne are you okay? N no more questions. Okay. You know what? I think somebody needs to get him a juice box. I'm e. Yeah. Bro. Pedialyte. You ready for this, Josh? Lambo. Rook? Oh. Benny, on his press conference, who are you going to be? Uh, Conti of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. Hey, Chris Conti. This is Doug Williams with uh, Tampa Bay Watch. Yeah, I was wondering if you have any physical, or emotional, or PTSD trauma from getting thrown to the ground against McDonald and Steelers. Clearly, as you can see, I'm I'm really banged up. Um, the physical pain, excruciating. Um, what I witnessed. Um, so I was in the locker room, and Fitzpatrick was talking to Chauncey, you know, his beard. And Chauncey answered him, and he said, throw the game. Throw some interceptions. I heard him say it. I ducked behind a locker, and um, then I was, I was going to I was gonna push a McDonald out, and then, and then Chauncey spoke to me from the sideline. And, 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 and then I don't know what happened. Oh. Okay. Thank right. you, Chris. Um, that yeah. answers my question. Yeah. Chris, Steve Young, Tampa Chronicle. Yeah. First loss for the team. What happened out there? Like I said, it was Chauncey. I'm telling you, he he made Fitzy throw those interceptions. I I was playing as hard as I could, and but you know what a beard speaks to you. It's weird. I'm, Chris, Chris, uh, question here. Uh, Patrick Fitzryan from the Tampa Bay Times. Yep. What do you? What does the word McDonald mean to you now? Is it? Okay. I still think of the Scottish hamburger restaurant, but maybe that's just me. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. A anything else you have for us, Chris? No, man. I'm messed up, dude. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Yeah. Get some rest. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Take an Advil. Yeah, maybe couple, put on 80 pounds also. A couple of aspirins. Yeah. A few. Mm -hmm. It's hard on the stomach, but you'll be all right. Fried aspirins. <laughs> we'll Fried be right aspirins. back.
Hey, this is Terrell Davis, and you are watching the Prog Prog Prognosticators. Welcome back to the Prognosticators. Now we're talking about checking the standings. How'd we do last week, fellas? Let's check Whoever the standings. Whoever has the best record for the week gets bragging rights. I don't know. Boom! Yeah, baby. That's what I'm saying, Mav. We got the tie at 11 to 5. I thought there's no ties in football. Hey, there's ties in football. Jesse coming in at 9 and 7, and Benny taking a step back, 7 Ouch. and 9. Ouch. The tables have turned a little here. Yeah. Ooh. Three weeks in a row, we have a tie. Week three. How do you guys feel about that? Well, I picked the wrong upset. I thought that Tampa Bay was going to do it. They darn near did. But, you know, the Bills on the road, no one would have picked that upset. So Detroit. I don't feel too bad for missing out. Detroit, on baby. Detroit. 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 That was another Brings it home. Right. Oh, then there was that thing up in Buffalo? Or was it in Minnesota? Or yeah. what? Didn't everyone yes. pick Buffalo? Everybody. Everybody picked, picked Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, all across the nation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? What are the, what are the uh, yearly standings looking like? Let's see. Huh. Love oh, it. ties, oh, well, ties, ties. Right. Lots of I'm ties right. around here. Ben and here. Jesse. I'm right. Coming back, Mav, just to sneak behind him. But look, y'all, I'm almost 500. Here comes Khalil. 500, baby. Okay, you're making your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got so this. So that means bragging rights. It's a tie for bragging rights. Mav and I get it. Gentlemen, the scepter. Da, 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 Congratulations. Da, da, da. I wish you the best. Bragging rights. Mm. Well, okay. look at this trophy, Khalil. Yeah, man. You know... We want to take a moment to recognize, fellas, this is a long season. Yeah, we got to take it one game at a time. You know what I'm saying? It's you each know? drive. It's the next game up. We're not looking down the schedule. We're just going to try to pick up a win whenever we can. We're just moving the chains. Mm -hmm. One drive at a time, one play at a time. Just keep moving the chains, baby. It's a long season. That's right, man. We're just going to try to come back. And, you know, in moments like this, you have to be coached well. You have to totally understand that um, – you know, it's next man up. It's next man yeah. up. It's all about the game plan. We execute Honoring the, the system. Mm -hmm. We are system mm -hmm. game pickers. This is a game of inches. We have systems. Yeah. My system is working now, and I'm very happy that it is. Um, my system involves a couple of Heinekens. Yeah. Yes. My system involves picking some of the teams that all the other guys pick so I can catch a win because I'm not even at 500 yet. But once I get to 500, it's just going to be like fantasy football last year where I went on a run. I went 0-4, and then I won all of the games, including the playoffs and the championship. But the guy never paid me. But um, oh. so, so we're taking it one game at a time, fellas. Live and learn. Yeah. We'll be right back. Turbo Threads is a proud sponsor of ProView Networks. Almost 30 years of experience means fast service, great prices, and a wide selection of apparel from t-shirts to performance sports shirts, even jackets and hats. They feature low minimums and no setup charges on most orders. Turbo Threads is located at 1503 Golf Course Road in Rear Rancho, or find them on Facebook, online at TurboThreads.com, or call 999-1234 for Turbo Threads. For 55 years, people have bought trucks from Tillery in Los Lunas. We have a great selection of vehicles, the quality service department, and some of the best deals in the state. But most importantly, we found people prefer to buy trucks from people who actually drive trucks. Tillery is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Locally owned and operated, located in Las Lunas, right off I-25, exit 203. It's time to make our picks for week four, gentlemen. Are you guys ready? Ready. Absolutely. 16 and 0 this week. All right. We'll see how that goes. There's First not up, even 16 games. Minnesota taking on the Rams on Thursday tonight. Got to go Rams. Seven. Rams, they haven't done us wrong. You stick with them. Oh, my goodness. Seven Rams. point favorites at home. Are we sweeping on this one? I'm going the Rams. Sweet. Yes, Minnesota's tough, but there's some news about Everson Griffin, Griffin that doesn't Ooh. sound good. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cincinnati at Atlanta. Ooh, tough Ooh. one. I had to call Atlanta. A lot of points. Atlanta, Ryan, you were perfect last week. You repeat anything close to that, you're good. I'm staying home with Atlanta, too. They got a high-powered offense in their own building. They have a lot of pride. They're going to bounce back. Well, fellas, Atlanta, Dirty Birds. Cincinnati's going to win. They're yep. going to come in and win that game. Whoa, They're cool. just as fast on offense as Atlanta Hold to play this. in that doom. Hold They're going to love it. And I got this. I got I got this. Got this. Going, Tampa Bay going to play Chicago. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, they what? got something for Fitz Magic. They're going to fluster him all night. Prince of Mukamara might get another pick. Watch out for that. They're at home. They're three-point favorites. Chicago. I'm going Tampa on the bounce back. 
and I like it. Awesome. Whoa. Tampa crazy on the bounce back as well. I agree. Split. With it Andy could be. I'm with the rook. It could be. It could be uh, Fitzy's last game. It could be. <laughs> it, particularly if Khalil Mack gets to him one last yeah. time. Detroit going into Dallas to take on the star. Mm. Rebound D Town. Okay. I mean, Dallas? Dallas, that is. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, agreed. I'm sticking with Dallas at home. I'm going Lions. I, I like the fact that Dallas is imploding right now. And I like the fact that Detroit finally figured out who they are. Good job, Patricia. It seems hey, like they have. Last week I was Dr. Detroit. This week I'm let's do it again. <laughs> Make it happen. Nice. Buffalo at Green Bay. This Buffalo. Can they do it? Uh, no. mm, They're coming no. back down to earth. Buffalo is going to win this game. Tough call. Oh, nice. I say Green Bay, so Mav is going out on the limb. Philadelphia taking on Tennessee. Philly. Philly. Super Bowl champs, Wentz back at his form. Gotta love it. Philly. Philly. And just for the record, I'm, I'm is this going. Sweep? Are we sweeping? Tennessee, we're, we're, last week, Jacksonville walked into nope. Tennessee thinking they was going to win being a good team. This week, Philly thinking they're going to win being a good team. Tennessee going to win ugly. Whoa. No okay. 12 so, to 9. This is how Khalil that is ugly. gets those Houston wins back. Houston at <laughs> Indianapolis. AFC mm. South <sighs> matchup. I got to let you go. I got to let you go, Houston. Uh, I'm off you. Yeah, we're mm, cutting mm, the Deshaun mm. card. It's Indianapolis. Indy. Indy. Is that a sweep? Indy. You think it's their first win, baby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My system works. <laughs> nice. Works. Two Miami. Heinekens. Ooh, Miami at New England. Oh, How geez. does this one look? Toughy Collie, Toughy Collie. I know a lot of people like Miami in this. They're, they got off to a strong start in the AFC East, but it's still the Patriots. They're at home. Josh Gordon, depending on the hamstring, might be in the game. I got to go Patriots. I'm, I'm going the odds on this one again. I'm going with the Pats. Hey, I've eaten humble pie before, but not this week. Pats. All right. All right. The Pats, everybody expects them to come out mad because they got beat. Miami got something for that. All right. Whoa. Miami going to go in there and we'll win. Say. New York Caliente. Jets taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Look, I'm either going to come back or I'm going to tank it. Yeah. I mean, what you call? What you call? New York Jets and Jags. Yeah. The Jags are going to win. Jags, Jags. win. Same yeah. here. Sweep. Let's sweep, sweep it. Sweep. Jags. Sweep that one up. Clean sweep. Come Cleveland. Play this week. Cleveland no, take it, it on. Oakland, y'all. I like it. I like it. And I like You're Cleveland on a roll. I like Cleveland on a roll. Cleveland it was Rome. such a beautiful win. It was so fantastic what happened on Thursday night. I know it was against the Jets who, yeah, okay, what, but I'm saying it was beautiful. It was awesome. I'm excited. Hey, until Cleveland loses, I ain't picking against them. That's it. I'm going with Cleveland I'm, as well. I'm picking against them. Okay. Baker Mayfield right. was out there for a second. They didn't game plan for him. They're going to this week. Oakland's at home. Coming right. back to Earth. We'll see it. We'll see it. Seattle taking on Arizona in a matchup of the NFC West. Seattle. Yeah. Seattle. I think they're going to head down there and take care of business. Josh so. Rosen at home is going to play well, but I'm going to have to go Seattle. And as I say that, I think that Arizona Sweet. still may win. But I'm going to Seattle. That's my pick. That is New Orleans is a hard game for me. You know, and the E-line I just made up. Um, mm -hmm. New Orleans and New York Giants. This is why I keep two Heinekens at the Oracle. This was the toughest peak of the week. I'm going to have to go Giants. Definitely was a tough one. Uh, I just don't have faith in the Giants yet, so I'm sticking with the Saints. They're probably going to put up 30 to 40 points, and that ought to do it. I think so, too. I think it's an outscore, and that's why the Saints get that game. Exactly. Giants well, win this one, baby, proving that they are a good team. Okay. Simple like that. All right. San Francisco taking on the L.A. Chargers. Oh, poor Without Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh. Yeah, the Chargers are going to take this one, I bet. They're yeah. a good team, and the Niners have a lot to figure out. Do they have some secret? Do they have some secret quarterback in the bag? Uh, no. I'm getting a phone call. Colin Kaepernick may be going back Cap to San Francisco. Cap is coming back. Mm -hmm. In Cap that case, coming back. That's we'll see how that plays back. out. That's got to be fake news. But it's Baltimore at Pittsburgh, Mav. I got to tell you guys, you know this is a tough game for me, but I think the Ravens are nasty. And Ravens? I think they're going to win this I, I got to go with Mav on the Ravens. I think they're just the more complete team. Jesse? Pittsburgh at home on a Sunday night. I'm going Ravens on this one. And the last one, I'm KC on at Tennessee. We got 15 seconds. KC! KC versus Denver, yeah. I, my I, homes. Where my home is. Swim. Where my home is. Call that one in, fellas. Where Call it in. Is. They always have the Mahomes field Mahomes advantage. home is sweet. Uh, <laughs> with that, we'll see you guys next week. Yay! Thanks for stopping by. My baby. Good one, man. It's coming back. Happy. Good to come back with all these renegade Miss you, Mom.